Frankly speaking, I wanted to record the video about usage of mini PC as a multimedia device. I just wanted to make this elderly box smarter. Even this guy likes this idea. Immediately I started searching for a smart plastic box on AliExpress. As you could understood from the title of this video, among all of this variety of mini PC made by very smart ass Chinese, I didn't find anything worthwhile. And there are lots of reasons why. This one has really weak CPU. And this one has not normal GPU. The third one is too expensive. The fourth one has ARM architecture CPU. No really, what is the purpose to buy mini PC which is weaker than your phone? Realizing that due to my poverty and capriciousness I would not have a mini PC, I began to look for an alternative. Didn't have to go far, luckily it was right in front of me, I stumble over it every day. It's a prehistoric PC on 775 socket. Despite of their age, they are quite powerful. It is definitely not worse, and sometimes even better than many PCs you can see today. The price of it is much lower particularly because you can't find it new, and many of them are slowly taking places in the dustbin of history. Until now, many have such a PCs lying in the attic, in the closets and other places for useless things. But don't think that I hate mini PCs. That is not a bad idea to buy it if you need compactness, silence, energy efficiency, and the most important, you have money. Because in my opinion, there is no sense in buying cheap mini PCs because the performance of such a solutions barely reaches the desktop Core i3 of the first generation. And even so, they cost a lot. Just look at this one. It has a modern CPU, but only with 2 cores and 4 threads. And the price is like 13,000 of hryvnias. That's where it is in the list of CPUs rated by multithreading. And here you can see where the prehistoric Xeon on 775 socket which I will use today is situated. Just look at this difference in power and age. Of course, there are some more powerful mini PCs like this one. It has Core i9 CPU with 8 cores, 16 threads, and it's comparable to Ryzen 5 3600. But the cancer of this box is that it has not normal GPU. No, what can be worse than integrated Intel graphics? Like, why do I need powerful CPU if there is no mighty GPU with it? And the price of it is like 20 thousands of hryvnias. I just imagined for a second what a PC could you buy for this money. But we are here for compactness, right? I forgot about that. Moving to Raspberry Pi. The fourth version of it, in my personal opinion, can perform all the tasks inherent in a mini PC. It is a pretty good option especially when you look at its price. But my common Chinese phone, on which I'm recording my shitty videos, says that Raspberry Pi is trash and it can perform the same tasks two times faster. Frankly speaking, I believe it, because Chinese phone never lies. No, I'm not joking, this phone is right, just look at this. In Raspberry Pi 4 you can find quad-core Cortex-A72, its ARM architecture, Let's compare it to my phone, for example, which by the way has 8 core processor Snapdragon. Snapdragon. Ok, ok, Snapdragon, and uh, it has higher frequency, it's 2 GHz. This piece of plastic can show me 4K videos on YouTube, and can Raspberry Pi do this? And the price for my phone is about the same. But that is only for used phones, because Chinese don't make these phones anymore. And no, it's not because of it's outdated, just Xiaomi makes new phone every Monday. Ok, I found one not bad option on AliExpress, the only problem of it is its stupid name. And uh, it uses Ryzen 7 Pro 2700U. And just imagine, it's comparable to AMD FX 9590. The TDP of the last one is 200 watts, by the way. It has integrated Vega 10 graphics. It's not far from discrete GT 1030, which is not far from discrete GTX 750, but the price was still high to me. But here really you just pay for compactness. For its price and size, its performance is not bad. But I don't even need so much performance. Based on my needs and the wallet size, I decided to make smart my old TV, and not from a modern mini PC. But with this 13 years old piece of sh I mean a PC on 775 socket. 
but it's more than enough to replace modern cheap mini PC. Ok, what about characteristics? 4 cores, 4 GB, perfect for gaming GT 1030, HDD, and all that trash costed me 2550 grivnas. If we had SSD it would be much more expensive. And it's still much cheaper than mini PC and even more powerful. Oh sorry, I almost forgot about the most important. For what do I need all of this? The thing is I have an old TV which I don't want to replace. And watch too. But I like when you can just lie back on the sofa, turn on your TV and play or watch something you really want to watch. For this I want to make my old TV smart. To implement this genius idea you just need to use an old HDMI to AVI converter, connecting everything you need to connect. For comfortable use of my TV I bought this gamer quality cheap Chinese mouse. It's time for this casket to go to the scrapyard and these things should have been there for 10 years already. Here is our not really mini and not really PC looks like on the place where the TV tuner need to be situated. Despite of the fact that windows are on really old HDD, it works pretty fast. You can even use gamepad and play games here. And why do I need overpriced mini PC if 775 socket is still great enough? I am comparing it to these boxes because they are most famous. I understand that my opinion is very subjective, I do not need it to anyone. I just don't need compactness, silence or energy efficiency, and the most important, I don't want to pay for all of this. Maybe if I was a billionaire, or at least a Vietnamese, I wouldn't talk like that. I think I would just buy very big and very smart, 100 times smarter than me TV. Hope you understood my position, write in the comments what do you think about mini PCs. By the way, all the links for stuff I used in this video I will left in the description. Hope this video was not boring, don't forget to subscribe, glory to Ukraine and to 775 socket. Ехал глека через реку.